DHF R turns folate to FH2, then FH4. That's turn to formal methanol methylene. Then methyl, which makes SAM and is the most stable form. With B12, it gives methyl groups to homocysteine. Formal folate, four purines, methylene, four DT and P. Eat folate to control fig loo. Folate and B12 allow splitting of RBCs, so RBC size does reduce. Methyl B12 turns homocysteine into methionine. Adding B12 makes meth-CoA sub-CoA. B12's bound to proteins then in the stomach our binders meets. In the gut's intrinsic factor prompts B12 up. Take formal folates, four purines, methylene, four DTMP. Eat folate to control fig loo. Folate and B12 allow splitting of RBCs, so RBC size does reduce. SAM donates methyl, becomes SA, then becomes homocysteine. As explained before, this becomes meth and SAM. Low folate and B12 cause high homocysteine and disease. Cardio and neuro, then you're really in a jam. Four more folates, four purines, methylene, four DTMP. Eat folate to control fig loo. Folate and B12 allow splitting of RBCs, so RBC size does reduce. Low B12 makes high methyl malonic acid and disturbs taste and dyes and makes paresthesias. Thymidylate synthase 5, if you really perturbs, methotrexate D, HFR stuns. Four more folates, four purines, methylene, four DTMP. Eat folate to control fig loo. Folate and B12 allow splitting of RBCs, so RBC size, so RBC size, so RBC size does reduce, reduce.